What's up guys? How's everybody doing? I just got back from uh, my vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, it was alright. It wasn't bad. Um, unfortunately, my mother's uh, cancer came back, so she's in the hospital right now. And uh, I decided to do this unboxing. I've had this system for quite some time now. I've just been sitting in my closet collecting dust. Um, you can tell there's dust on the uh, cover and whatnot, the plastic part. Because it's just been sitting there. When I was in the... Uh, when I used to collect a lot of old school video games, like I got this and I got a uh, Nintendo 64 as well. And I got a bunch of games as well, complete in box. Um, then I stopped for um, financial reasons and stuff like that, bills and whatnot. And I wanted to put money into my car. Um, and I plan on picking up more old school video games sometime down the line when I'm good and ready to uh, purchase some but right now I just don't have the cash so I decided to do something a lot different I decided to do an unboxing of a Nintendo um, console instead of PlayStation all the time or something like that so hopefully you'll enjoy this video um, I got this off eBay spent I don't know four to f maybe four hundred and fifty dollars um, it's in good condition um, I don't believe um, the system came with the plastic covering. I believe I bought the plastic covering to, to uh, keep the box pristine and whatnot. Um, I'm sure a big Nintendo fan will pay good top dollar for a halfway decent system and a box if they're really huge in the gaming. Um, check out our website called NintendoAge.com, I believe it is. But Nintendo Age, I'm on there as Hoodie Weather. Um, I posted a bunch of pictures um, of my... Nintendo 64, the games that I have so far, and the Super Nintendo games that I have so far, too. Um, other than that, I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, let's get started. Uh, let's see. I love these plastic holders to keep stuff nice and neat and clean, especially if you're a big time gamer, or I should say collector, not gamer. Well, gamer too. So this is what the box looks like. I apologize for the glare. It's better than doing this thing in the dark. Little Mario, Mr. Mario. There's, a, there's just a scuff right there, but other than that, this box is, uh, other than that, the box is, uh, in good condition. Let me close this up. I had the regular um, Nintendo, uh, the Super Nintendo, and the N64 when I was growing up. I believe, if I remember correctly, some of my friends had this um, alternative system, I guess you could call it, growing up. Not really too sure what the difference is, so I apologize for not giving the correct facts or anything like that. But. I believe this system came out maybe a year or two after the original OG Super Nintendo, but I could be wrong on that. Just a scuff mark right there. And that's about it. Other than that, the box looks mint. Little tab right there. Let's see if I can open this up without ripping it. Oh, there we go. I got really dry hands, so I got lotion on. So everything's so slippery and whatnot. I really don't want to crease this either, but 
If I do, I do. Not the end of the world. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let's flip this up. Just threw the box on the ground. Flip this around for you guys. Got the manuals right here. And this is what the system looks like. I'll just hold it up with my finger. Styrofoam's in uh, mint condition, minus um, a little broken part right there that's missing. But other than that, this is pre I brand new, I guess you could say, or like new. Um, I'm really unsure what the eBay listing said. Um, I can't remember. It's been like, I don't know, two years now since I've had this, just sitting around. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to start streaming old school um, Nintendo games. I have a Twitch account, but my connection with Spectrum blows, so I can't really stream that well. The only time I could stream really well is if I dumbed down the resolution on the PlayStation 4 to like, I don't know, 720 or, or something lower than that. Otherwise, if I do 1080, I get yelled at in those chat rooms saying things lagging, it's frozen. So I believe it's my internet connection, which sucks. And uh, unfortunately, Verizon does not come around the part where I live here in, in Connecticut. So otherwise, I'd have a badass connection. But other than that, that's what the purpose of my Nintendo 64 and the Super Nintendo was going to be, was to stream old school games. Um, what I wanted to do was create a video, uh, YouTube channel um, with shows on them. Um, like cooking shows from like, uh, you can make stuff from Fallout and whatnot. Or uh, just, I don't know, I just wanted to do something in, in video games with a YouTube show and whatnot. And have friends who I know stream come on board with me and stuff like that but i don't know i i think of a lot of things and i just kind of brush it to the side but uh at any rate maybe in uh some someday in my lifetime but this is the manual what i was doing with nintendo 64 and super nintendo was um trying to get cim cib which is complete in box what i wanted was the pamphlets the manuals um, the styrofoam or, um, like the cardboard type, paper cardboard type holders for the Super Nintendo games and the, uh, Nintendo 64 games. I want a complete and set. So, like, if you unwrap something, everything's there and nothing's missing. Um, these things go for a lot of money, the complete and box video games. But I don't mind spending it, especially if you're a collector and whatnot. So this is one of the pamphlets. Consumer information and precautions booklet. I remember getting some Nintendo Power ads and stuff like that. And this brings back childhood memories, my friends. Remember back in the day, walkthroughs, like actual physical books that you could buy from like a store to help you instead of always Googling something and there's a walkthrough online that somebody wrote up. Or IGN did, or something like that. I miss those days of actually owning books of walkthroughs and stuff like that. But I think I'm getting off topic and reminiscing of my uh, great childhood. And here's the instruction booklet. I don't, yeah. The stereo audio cable, AC adapter, the Super, Super NES controller. I remember playing uh, Super Nintendo all the time, or the regular Nintendo, and want, and after the controls are beat in and broken in, you, you start squeaking. Well, that doesn't sound like a squeak, but they start squeaking and stuff like that. I remember those, back in the day, the TVs with the uh, the coax cables, and some I think some of them didn't, and I had to use like an antenna, and stuff like that. Oh man, those good old days. Now you could use AVs like the red, green, no, red, yellow, and red, yellow, and green, or red, yellow, and blue AVs and stuff like that. You plug in, and it's so much easier. Thank God we got two HDMI's now and stuff like that. 
But as you can tell, I, I've forgotten a lot of things, or I'm just very uneducated. Oh, it's yellow, white, and red. I was way off. Sue me. What I wanted to do was get a Nintendo 64 system and have it sent out to be modified so I could run HDMI um, instead of the regular, using the regular port and stuff like that. But I just stopped thinking about it and didn't even bother doing that. I don't know, maybe I'll get back into it or something. Who knows? I remember the Game Genie back in, back in the day with Nintendo or Game Shark. Man. I'll be 37 this year, March. March 21st, so. I remember a lot of video game stuff, but other than that, I can't remember Jack. I'll put that off to the side. I don't think I'm going to open these up, because I don't really want to. I mean, I'm sure this will get, this will be a lot more, I'd probably get a lot more money if I decide to sell this package like this, instead of opening everything up and ruining it. But cable. Remember these things. I remember getting so aggravated. I remember getting so aggravated at certain games. Especially Nintendo. I was so young that it would bring me to tears. Because I got so far in like a level like Ninja Turtles. Where you have to go like in the sewers and swim in the water. And defuse bombs. I swear to God. They made Nintendo games where... You could not even complete the whole game. They made it so so freaking hard that that nobody can win a game. But yeah, that really aggravated me. It brought me to tears, and I would slam controllers down. I mean, I would slam this, this, this controller down on the ground, constantly getting aggravated at stupid things, because some of these bosses are just ridiculously difficult. And I swear to God, they cheat. Just like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I swear to God, that game cheats too. Especially multiplayer. But it would just bring me... It would just aggravate me to no end that I would just slam this down so hard that... I swear to God, this plastic's indestructible. It's like some alien form plastic that you cannot break. It's just amazing to me. So I'll put that off the side. Thank you for listening to me rant and rave and whatnot. This is the AVs, not red, green, and blue, or whatever I said. It's yellow, white, and red. But there is a, I think, Nintendo, 60, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, that's modified, that you could buy for like three to four hundred bucks now, um, off some website and stuff like that. It comes with HDMI, it comes with all these other things, it boosts up the graphics for the games. I forget the name of it, but if I think of it, I'll link it down below and you guys can check it out if you'd like. I was thinking about picking up one, but stuff came up, money-wise and stuff like that, so I never got myself one. So Right now, actually, I'm looking for a PS3 FAT, P-H-A-T, or the F-A-T one, that I want to play PlayStation 2 games on. I found the AO one or the EO one. I'm undecided, but I think I really want to go with the AO one even though it gets the yellow light of death. And uh, I'm thinking about getting one off eBay. I always go on eBay. But I might just say screw it and pick myself up a Slim or the Super Slim instead and say F it. I can't play PS2 games. I'll get the Super Slim because there's some games I want to go back to on PlayStation, of course, to finish up and whatnot. And I might get a used PS2 one day because I want to do... I've never played Silent Hill. I love Silent Hill. So I want to do Silent Hill 1. My allergies are bothering me, so excuse my stuffiness. This is the AC adapter, which is heavy as hell. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera. This has got some weight to it. It's pretty much a paperweight. I can't see through the bag, and I don't feel like taking stuff out. But that's the AC adapter. Wow, this thing's so light. This feels just like, this is how light the uh, PS Vita Slim is, or PS Vita Lite is. It is 
light. I don't remember how I don't remember this being ever light. I think the OG was had some weight to it. But this is cool looking back on all the stuff that I grew up with and some of you have and have not. It's a multi uh, AC adapter. I think the original OG had a few more ports on the back and stuff like that, if I remember. And the OG had the big square or whatever, rectangle, right there. I don't remember correctly if he hit it, he hit the, uh, the eject button and the thing pops out. I think it just kind of gets loose and pops up just a little bit. But there you go. Yeah. Put that on the ground. There you go. It was a shame the OG system would it would change color some reason i don't know if it's i was gonna say oxidation but no we just changed like this dirty nicotine yellow color urine color which was disgusting i don't know why i think maybe it's because of the plastic or the chemicals that are in the plastic that make that that change the system's color i don't really know I don't remember what I ever did with my Nintendo 64 or Super Nintendo. I don't know if I decided to break it open and check what's inside and, and stuff like that. I don't know. I was always interested in electronics and stuff like that. So I might have. I wish I didn't. You, you could feel this. It's raised. Just like the Nintendo up here. Yeah, it's a little, a little raised. Cool. We're not done yet, folks. For every Super Nintendo game I bought, I bought myself these plastic covers off eBay. Um, I'll put a link down below if you'd like yourself some plastic covers if you're really picky on perfection and keeping stuff nice and neat and clean especially if you're gonna go to like a convention sell it um because i know there's people like me out there that want everything kind of perfect you know if there's a crease here and there or, or a little dent eh, sometimes it might turn me off be quite honest with you and i've and i haven't bought an ebay items like that i would search elsewhere but that's just me but I never played this game. I just bought it and stuff like that to add to my collection. Tell you, the movie was wicked funny. Let's see if I can open this thing up. It's like a little tab right there. I think I stuck it in there too tight. Oh my word. I can't get it. Well, at any rate, any rate, this is Clue. It's complete in box. That's what I wanted to do was open them up and show you. I was never a Star Trek fan. I never will be. I was always a Star Wars fan. Um, I kind of lost interest in the whole Star Wars. I don't have any nails either. I, I have a habit of biting my nails, which I've been told it's not very, it's not good for you. Otherwise, I would show you the cart and stuff like that. I apologize. 
Maybe I'll redo, redo this video once I grow my nails out, like Freddy Krueger style or something. Oh yeah, I apologize for the glare. The slider, um, the curtain for the slider door is open. Get some light in here. Once you get these, this uh, once you get the the whole box inside this plastic, and you put the put the tabs in and stuff like that, they click in, so they won't pop out and stuff like that while moving or something like that. So they're in there good. Yeah, I'm def I can't. I wish I could show you guys. I really do. But this is one of the games that I played and I loved. I know you can bust my balls. Uh, do legs a lead and blah, blah. But Capcom was the bomb back in the day. But uh, I remember renting this from Blockbuster. I don't know if anybody remembers Blockbuster, but my father had a membership, and every weekend I would go down there, rent a game. And I remember vividly getting this game, renting it, loving it. And for some reason, Blockbuster has those. Um, like their own stickers on the carts and stuff like that. And for some reason, I didn't like it, so I decided to peel off the Blockbuster sticker and whatnot and clean it up. And uh, after my father drove me to the Blockbuster to drop the game off, since it was only like a few days or the weekend, he got a phone call from Blockbuster stating how come the sticker is taken off of the cart, how come it doesn't say Blockbuster or property of, and... Uh, yeah, luckily we didn't have to pay for anything, but I think they want an explanation as to why their video game cart came back. Uh, not the way it went out. Now, if anybody has a PS4, you could buy like a Disney um, video game that comes with Aladdin and Lion King, I believe. I do want to pick that up because I do like Aladdin. I never knew there was a Lion King video game, but I wouldn't mind trying that out. But Aladdin video game, good stuff back in the day. Oh, look. This doesn't have tabs. This comes out like that. So I got different dust holders. That's why. Yeah, I'm very careful. I remember... Most of these games didn't even come with dust covers either. But yeah, the manual was uh, pretty much creased and I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Kind of bent and whatnot and it's definitely worn out. Uh... Somebody wrote something there. Unless there's some type of musical puzzle or something. A6, G, I don't know. Unless there's puzzles and the guy's giving me answers. I never actually looked through a manual before. I just boxed it and shelved it. Oh, somebody messaged me on Facebook. But I'm looking for, since I got a PS Vita, oops, sorry. Since I got a PS Vita now, I'm looking for like 8-bit, 16-bit, like old school video games for the Vita and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I remember getting new games and these pamphlets would come in. Top secret Nintendo Power stuff, player's guide, like I was telling you earlier. Like official, like walkthrough shit. Look at that. When's the last time you've seen something like this? Who's like 40 or like my age. The kids who were born in 2000 and uh, have no clue. The struggles. I 
don't want to fold it and ruin it. I want to keep it kind of crunched. So I apologize for not opening it up too much. Remember stuff like this would come in games and whatnot, posters, you hang up on the wall. Oh man. Brings back some good memories. Well, frustrating memories as well. I remember everybody talking about Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl. The football game was the bomb. Unfortunately, I never had it. But this is a complete in-box game, which I'm aiming for on all the video games I want to get, or at least try to. I mean, I paid quite a bit of money for some of these, especially uh, Earthbound. No, not Earthbound. My apologies. Uh, Harvest Moon. I paid quite a bit for that. But yes, all this, all this paperwork, this is what I'm aiming for, going for. Look at the date, 91. I was born in 83. I'm surprised there's not a Mega Man movie. I will tell you, the Sonic movie, phenomenal. Mwah. Good movie. Fun. Heartwarming. They did leave it open-ended for another one, so don't be surprised. I do want a Silent Hill movie. I do want another one. Since I've said I've liked Silent Hill. Registration card. Ah, the baggy. For the game card. I remember most game carts or all of them came with a little baggy. Willow. I remember Willow was a good movie. I hate spiders, and that freaked me out the most when when the big spider came into play. In, into the scene. Look at this. Another poster, I guess you could say. Or just an advertisement. DuckTales. Awesome. DuckTales was rad. The Goonies game was rad. Castlevania 3 was rad. Chippendale was awesome, too. That was a rad game. Coming soon, Magic Kingdom. Wow. Bionic Commando, huh? Mickey Mouse Mousecapade. I don't think I ever played Mousecapade. But I remember getting winning a free video game from, I believe, Nintendo Power. When, uh, when I had the regular NES, it was Dragon Warrior that introduced me to RPGs, especially Japanese RPGs. It was fun, was frustrating, cried probably, along with the other Nintendo games that fucked me over. Hey, I was a little kid, what can you tell what can you expect? Or oh, yes, this is a full complete inbox which I'm looking for. God, this card's so light. The sad thing is on eBay, there's so many duplicates well not duplicates, but uh uh what do you call them? Not retro stuff, but uh like they're not officially licensed. They're like uh, I can't remember. I can't think of the word, but if someone can help me, that'd be great. Sign of approval right there. Nintendo legit. What I really should be doing is opening up the cart to see, because they uh, make their own boards and stuff like that, and they'll sell them for X amount of money, tricking users into buying, think, thinking they're buying an actual game cart, like a legit. Sign Nintendo, but it really isn't. I don't know if this bag's for the cart or not. I think the baggie's for the uh, paperwork. But anyway, that's Aladdin. And that's what a complete inbox looks like. Oh, brings back good memories. It's actually like, looking at all this old stuff, to me, especially in music, 
it's like time traveling. Like it brings you back to a certain point or certain part of the day or spot of something great or bad that happened while a certain song or a lyric or a lyric that you were hearing was being said or sang about or or whatever. That's that's what I consider time traveling, which, which is, I don't know. I, I'm just rambling. I apologize. All right. Put this away. Should put all the stuff in loose. I should have messed with all this stuff, but there you go. Shove it right back there. I still think this bag is for the video again. Uh, I guess I could use it for crack or something if I if I saw crack. Box this baby up. Put this thing away. Say goodnight to it. There you go. So yes, I did get different um, dust covers, or box covers. That's why this doesn't have tabs. Ah. I do remember this game a lot. See, there's a crease and little dent. Meh. I can live with it. I'm not going to open all these up. Uh, excuse me, my stomach's growling. Uh. But this game was the bomb back in the day. I never knew Samus or Samuus or whatever the fuck it is. I didn't know it was a chick. But they should do a, a Metroid movie. I think that would be the bomb. This game was awesome. I loved it. Never played a Metro game in my life until Super Metroid came out. Remember my friend Steven letting me borrow this so I could start my own profile. And all of a sudden, I guess, these games that save, they come with their own little battery. Not knowing at the time, it did. And uh, I guess the battery died out and his save got deleted along with mine and he was pissed. He cried and cried and was so upset at me thinking I deleted his his freaking profile, which I never did. Why would I do that? I'm not a dick. So, for those, this is a good public state, um, public announcement. Check your battery, swap out the battery, so your game profiles won't get erased. This is just a plastic case. Looks like a movie case. I don't know if this is a legit blockbuster one. This might be a not a retro, but a yeah, refurbished. I can't think of the word. I'll think of it. I'm still looking for the game. I think it was. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was a blockbuster only one, but it's a legit instruction book. Yeah, I'm just looking for the video game, the cart. I don't. I'd like to have in a legit box, but I bought this off eBay along with the manual. So I'm just looking for the cart. Oh, this stuff is dusty. I'm gonna sneeze. This is a sealed game. I haven't opened it. Don't think I'll ever will. I believe this is a legit sale. I could be wrong. That's another thing that I'm worried about too, off eBay, buying legit, I mean not legit, buying sealed games and not knowing if it actually came from the warehouse like that or someone had a shrink wrap machine or uh, a machine to do um, wrapping like this and they're just passing it off and saying, yeah, it's a, it's a legit thing, but you can never tell on eBay anymore, I guess. There's so many fakes floating around. I will tell you, Blades of Steel was a 
awesome game. I do miss NBA Jam. Blitz, the NFL game, Blitz, awesome. Played hours on end and Blitz with my friends from high school, two of them. Good times, good times. I do remember getting this for, for Super Nintendo. My sister was young, younger than me. She's 33. I'm, I'll be 37 this year. and She'll be 34 this year in July. And me winning the matches and just, glo just jumping up in the air, pointing at her, saying, Haha, you lose. You lost. And making her cry. I guess that's what big brothers do, right? They, pick, they poke fun at their sisters and stuff like that. I was young. What can you tell? What can you say? This game was the bomb. I'm surprised. I mean, they have Fortnite competitions and stuff like that. They need a Mario Kart competition or a league. Fortnite league. They should have a Mario Kart league. My friend Steve, who let me borrow Super Metroid, had this game. I absolutely fell in love with this game. I downloaded a Super Nintendo emulator just to play this when I didn't have the Super Nintendo anymore. I fell in love with this game. I like RPGs, and this one did it for me. I enjoyed this so much. I go for little different variations of boxes, too. So I don't know if somebody created that or this was legit from like a video game store. Like I said, I apologize for the glare. Updated version of the seven stars would be rad. Movie was good. Never played the game. Last but not least, Monopoly. This was fun. I enjoyed this game. SimCity was another rad game that I liked too. I had SimCity 2000 for the PC. SimCity was always fun. I didn't like that SimCity where you take control of people. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But this is my small little collection. I thank you for watching, guys. I'm sure you're more distracted about the TV up there. My apologies, but this is what I got so far. I love to start getting back into this when I have money, when the bills go away and stuff like that. But till then, thank you. Have yourself a great evening, rest of your day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. I appreciate it and thank you.